We're good. Right? Means we're live. I'm ready. Check to make sure I'm straight. We should be live. All right. Well, that's good. Well, it used to always be we're live. Now it's we should be live because of this new. So, welcome uh, to on set, on remote set or whatever. Take number two. So uh, for anybody who's been watching these on Thursday, normally we're in the event space in the store, which is being revamped. So for the next few uh, sessions or episodes or events, or I don't know what to call these, uh, we're going to be remote. So right now we're in my studio. I'm here with Sharina. You guys may remember from everything. Every <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do some beauty photography. So this is always a good, fun uh, session to do. Really kind of meticulous beauty is, so we're going to build it up as we go. Um, and if you guys have questions, ask away. I am Daniel Norton, if I didn't say that already. Seth's on the Mighty Mix. And uh, I need a new beginning, because different, different location. Cool. Yeah, cool. not bad. I'm, All right, I'm working it. All right, so have a seat. Yeah. Now, the thing about beauty is that it's one of those things that does require build up in time and repetition. So almost always you're going to want to have the person sit. A lot of times you probably see me say, do you want to stand or sit? But generally with beauty photography, I want them to sit because I know I'm going to have them in that one spot the whole time. I don't want them moving around too much. Plus we're going to start building stuff around her and she's not going to have room to move anyway. So, um, all right. So camera, um, one other thing that's going to be a little different is that I'm going to use a slightly longer lens than you guys are used to me working with. Um, I tend to shoot my portraits with a bit of a, a wider end of the spectrum, on like a 24 or 70 or 50. Uh, Seth was nice enough to loan me his uh, 105 millimeter macro lens. So 105 is going to give us space to stand back. It's going to cause more compression because we're standing back. And macro is going to be sharp. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens there. Um, typically, you want a bit of a longer lens. There's a few reasons for that. I mean, in conventional beauty, you typically want that compression, you know, because the closer you are to somebody, you know, the features get extended so the nose gets brought out and stuff, which I like in a portrait. It feels more natural like you're there with them. You see it a lot in cinema. Um, but for classic beauty portraits or beauty, like for cosmetics, you typically want that compression or it was flatten the face down. Um, and also, like I said, there's going to be lots of manipulation in here. We're going to bring in reflectors and stuff. There's going to be a makeup artist, not today, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, but normally you'd have hair and makeup coming in left and right, so you don't want to be this close to the model all the time because we need space, right? We need crew. So the lens is going to give us room. It's just a practical uh, thing. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. So <clears throat> because if I didn't do this, I would lose my uh, license as a photographer. This is the thing you, when you get licensed as a photographer and you, as a beauty photographer, what they say is you have to use a, a beauty dish right? oh, because it's, yeah. it's for beauty. So. Yeah, we're going to go with the beauty dish. So I know, I know. Vanessa, hey Vanessa. Um, we're gonna use a beauty dish uh, just because I feel like it. I often use umbrellas and often and sometimes soft boxes when I do beauty as well, but I feel like a beauty dish is a good classic uh, example and uh, it's what was on the light, so. Uh, I have it on my roll Last time we got questions about this stand, this is the, uh, the stand that comes with the Manfrotto, no, yeah, Matthews, Manfrotto, super boom. It's called the Super Boom Stand, I think. So uh, if you're wondering what the stand is, that's what it is. And it's on wheels, which is nice. So a beauty dish is, is essentially, oh, I suppose I should just explain what a beauty dish is. Let me explain what a beauty dish is. It makes that nice sound, nice satisfying sound. This one has a grid on it, which we're gonna take off. I don't think I'm gonna use the grid today. So, beauty dish pan reflector, right? Not so deep, light is in the back, deflector in the center. What happens is light comes out, it's going to bounce around the inside of this pan, it's gonna come forward giving us, you know, kind of a diffuse but kind of, kind of punchy light, not super, super hard if you use it the way you should use it, which is close. Because remember, hard to soft is based on size of the, the lighting instrument to your subject. And my subject in this case is her head. And this is slightly larger than her head. And Sharina has like an average sized head. Are the dents are extra? The dents are extra for sure. The brown tape makes it balance out though. Uh, the deflector in the center is so that you don't get a hot spot. If you take this off, what you're gonna get, I mean the light will still, you know, the, the pro photo, the light comes out in like 140 degree angle, so it will still hit the sides of the dish and still give uh, light. 
but you'll get a hot spot in the center. And some beauty dishes actually, uh, like molas, have different ones of these that you can get. You can put in translucent ones. I think Seth's, uh, one of Spears trying to a translucent one as well. You can put translucent, you can put these metal ones with holes in it to change this feel. But generally what it's for is so you don't get a hot spot. So we're gonna put this super close to her. We don't wanna get a hot spot. That's the deflector. So that's basically what a beauty dish is. So, because we're shooting beauty, we want kind of hard light because we want to shape the face, right? We want to show shape uh, and form with beauty photography. I'm using the silver one. Uh, silver is going to give us specularity, right? It's going to cause our highlights to come up, uh, which is very good. Now, if you are shooting something that is very specular, like might be a problem, like some makeups are super shiny, uh, a white beauty dish might be a better option for that. But I think we'll use silver today because that's what's on here. I generally like silver, although we have a white one. Seth has a white one, um, and it is nice. It's just a different kind of tool. But like with most light, I'm gonna bring it in as close as I can without it being in the shot. I'm gonna put it centered on her face because I want the light to be nice and even. And we're gonna keep in mind that if this angle is too steep, right, the steeper this angle is, the more uneven the light will be across her face if, we're, if, if she is uh, keeping her head flat. I'm actually gonna position my camera slightly high so she's gonna have her chin up a bit. Uh, that way she can keep her chin more or less at angle with the light. That's kind of the key here. So we're gonna... Is the light more versatile? Is the light more versatile? Um, I don't know, more versatile. Uh, is the white beauty just more versatile? It is more diffuse. Uh, whether or not that is more versatile is maybe up for debate. I'm gonna say no. I mean, you can take diffusion and put it in front of a silver beauty dish to make it less dif less specular, but you can't put anything in a white beauty dish to make it more dif more specular. So maybe I'd say the silver's more. Did I just say the same thing twice? Let me say this. They're just talking about the dents. Like oh, the, the dents. <laughs> oh yeah, the dent is the, yeah. Let me tell you something, look at how much a beauty dish costs and you'll see why I don't just buy another one. <laughs> it gives a character. It does give character. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna shoot horizontal, horizontally today because, you know, why not? why not? That's what the kids do. Okay, so number one. The very first thing we're gonna do, like we always do, isn't that from Pinky and the Brain? <laughs> right, uh, is we're going to uh, make sure that none of the light in the space is affecting our shot. The reason for that is because we want control, right? We wanna make sure that none of this light that's bouncing around these LEDs and stuff are not gonna be part of our shot. So I'm gonna set my camera at its lowest uh, base ISO, which is 100. In this case, this is an Nikon Z6. So 100 ISO, I'm gonna set it at uh, 1 one sixtieth of a second. I know that it goes to 1 200, but we did that last week. Uh, so I like shooting 1 160. 1 160, and I'm going to then set my aperture. And the simplest way to do it is to just, especially if you have a mirrorless camera, I'm just gonna look through. And, and it's black when, I, when there's no flash going on. So basically it should be good. But I'm also looking at the meter, right? I'm in manual mode, there's a meter on the side. I wanna get the meter down to a couple stops underexposed, which it is. I'm at F8. It was making the brain. It was making the brain, there you go. Try to take over the world. Try to take over the world, exactly. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. We're gonna quickly go like this, take a shot. We should have a black frame. Aha, good. So we got the black frame. Okay. Um, like, question about the clothing of the model in relation to the color of the background. Like dark background, dark clothes. Or, uh, I mean, it, if you are, you know, in the position where you're lighting stuff, you know, you can have a dark background with dark clothes. Just make sure that you light it in a way that you keep your edges with, you know, rim lights or whatever. Um, I don't pick. Well, oftentimes, you don't get to pick the clothes. And actually, a lot of beauty stuff is more just like head and shoulders skin, basically, anyway. So you're not really worrying about that. But uh, I usually go for simple if, if I'm going to show clothes. Uh, you know, and black is always a, a winner. Uh, why 100 and not lower, like 50 or something? So the reason why I don't go below 100 ISO is 100 is within my normal range. When you start going out of the normal range of your camera, you, you start to lose quality. You know, 50 is not better than 100. It's actually worse. So you'd only use that when you're doing things like super long exposures where you need, you know, that slower thing. Because basically you're still telling the sensor to tweak itself away from where it should be. Now, if 50 is your base, then that's different. I'm talking about in this camera. All right, so I'm going to drag this over until I start to see her, which is like right around there. And then, interestingly, my background comes up around two stops. But I'm going to light the background anyway, so it's not going to matter. But uh, Sharina does not come up until about two and a half, which is fine. So we're about two and a half stops dark. I could go F11 if I wanted, but we'll go F. I think F8 is good. You know, I'll go F11 just because I feel like it. 
Okay, got that going. Turn the autofocus on. By the way, when you do the black frame, I, I often just turn off the autofocus because I'm not, I don't care about the picture. Um, here, I'm going to turn my light on now. This is a Profoto B1X. As noted, this is in channel uh, three, which is the channel I'm working with. It's in group A, uh, and that's going to be my source. I'm going to use TTL because I feel like it. You can certainly use a light meter, which is a good way to do it as well. Back way up. I feel so far away. Take a quick shot and just see what the, what the TTL gives us. Oh, yeah, that's not terrible. So we're looking. She's sharp. Oh, I like that little green in there. Oh, look at that, a little added feature. Uh, yeah, we got a little green in there, right? She's sharp. Uh, she's not quite centered on the light. I can see that. Um, and the background's gray, right? Two backgrounds for the price of one, because you can see the background's white. The background's gray because the light's not really reaching it so much, right? It's inverse square law. It would be black if no light reached it, but uh, some light's reaching it, so we're getting gray. I don't like gray, though. We're going to go white. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is move this light so it's centered on you. So is this centered on you? Mm, Which way? No. Like this way. way? Yeah, there. OK. Good. Sometimes you've got to ask the model, because they know. We know. They know. They're looking right at the light, so. Good, good, good. All right, so that should be better. Yeah, there we go. Now it's centered. And look at how much more beautiful that is. Boom, right? So uh, that's fine. I think we'll have you spin your body, though, you know, because that's what you got to do. This is if you buy the book of model posing. This is on page 17. I have a book. <laughs> it wasn't book. It was. OK. They bring your face this way, though. Yeah, there we go. Good. Right, so that's just, you know, so we have less width there. Looks a little nicer. Um, anyways, we'll work the pose in a second. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in a little bit, right? You could do this a lot of different ways. Um, I think what I'm gonna do to keep things as simple as possible is I'm going to actually bring in a reflector. They're asking about your shirt. They're asking about my shirt. I made this shirt. And you can buy it on my Teespring shop if you want. See that? Making some money. I really did. Don't you, you love did? this shirt? It's fine. It's a great shirt. I, I, I do, I, I entertain myself. Am I no, no. So we're gonna bring the reflector in. Now, I'm gonna bring the reflector in and we're gonna bounce the light up in. We could use white or silver. I think we'll start with white to see. You can hold it, and a lot of times in portraits, because I'm moving around a lot, I will. But again, beauty, we're building this up. This is a little more meticulous. So for this, I know you guys are all gonna ask where to get one of these. This is the thing, <laughs> right? It is a, yeah, even, right? Nice, right? It is an adjustable height table. Let me get in nice and close here. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm going to use the silver. And we're going to bounce the light a little bit. I'm matching the silver to the silver dish. Exactly. Uh, this is probably not, yeah, it's going to do a little bit, I think. I'm just going to kick a little bit of light up there. Yep. I don't want to completely fill it in. I want shape. See, she looks down and everything when you do that. That's important. Uh, let's do one more. Look straight at me. There we go. Did you get closer? The fluorescent lighting in the ceiling is not giving green on the makeup. The green is made by uh, an eyeliner. The eyeliner, yes. So, if you did a black frame, no light's affecting the shit. Yes. <laughs> oh, I might have missed that part. I was, I'm so unused to it. It's such a long lens. I feel so far away from you. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. You can limit the focus on by the way. Oh, it's great. It focuses super fast. And that's with the adapter. That's with the adapter. And it fell it's called something. To the ground. And it fell, fell to the ground. Okay, so now we've got a little fill, right? It's not completely filling in the shadows. A lot of times you see we'll bring it in, whoosh, dramatically fill it, and I just want the shadow to be filled in a little bit. So uh, I can bring it a little bit higher if I wanted to, or you could also tilt it and stuff. But I think for this, I think we'll tilt it a little bit. No, no, watch this. No, no, this is, we have to show these people techniques here. I could use the story stand too, but I, I like to use this. This is how I like to do it. Hold that for a second. I'm going to clamp this on here. This is what I use this for. Okay. Yep, there we go. You can also use a short C stand as well. I got it. Let go. There we go. This is why I have a thousand A clamps. Good. We'll kick a little bit more up there with a little more angle. There we go. That's a little more punchy, right? It kind of depends on what you want to do. We can manipulate it as needed. Not terrible, right? There we go. 
Am I posing or? No, now we can pose. You go, now turn flat to me uh, with, with, with your face. No, keep your shoulders slightly turned. Only a little bit though. So they're asking why TTL? So I'm using TTL because it works. I mean, it's a metering system and it works for me now. I'm only using one light. I mean, generally, if you're going to put a light directly in front of the subject and, you know, nothing else, TTL is always going to work. If I start doing more complicated stuff, you know, then it might get trickier. But we can use a light meter too. I'll show you how to do that. Good. Nice. We can do something like that, you know, and that gives you a nice clean. I mean, it's nailed it every single time. You know, Profoto, you know, they did their research there with that TTL. Look at that. That's a pretty good exposure. That is a pretty good exposure. Pretty good. Not bad. If it wasn't for Sharina, the exposure would be all over the place. Yeah, if you were going to meter, um, one thing with metering is that, uh, so here's my Sekonic meter, if you want. Is it the people from Sekonic saying, why aren't you using the meter? <laughs> I mean, this is, the thing is, all the technology that you have available to you is good for different things and at different times. You know, you don't, you don't need to... Being some like uh, fanatic about one thing, always use a meter, always use TTL, to me is just not the way to operate in life. So TTL works, so why, am I not, why wouldn't I use it? But if you didn't have TTL, um, what you would do is set your light meter. <laughs> the light meter is set at three ISO because we were shooting paper negatives. All right. So I'm gonna set my light meter to, you know, my settings. I don't know if you can see that or not, probably. Uh, more or less. Anyways, it's at 1 160 of the second 100 ISO, non corded flash. And then what you just do is you go like that. Boom. This is actually saying F10. I'm going to do it again. Uh, pointing at the light. There you go. Okay. You set your camera based on what the meter says, and then you make your adjustments. Um, it is actually because I have the reflector in there, it's, it's reading a little hot. I usually meter, or almost always meter, before I put the reflector in. So keep that in mind as well. Maybe it's just right at the edge of the shot, which is good. Good, just like that, it's good. Yeah, see, also good. It's all good. The thing is, now that I'm set up, right, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm good and I like this, what, I, what you can do uh, in this system is you just hit the button here, and now I switch to manual, and it just stays in manual. I don't have to worry about uh, exposure anymore. I want to do a white background though, and the way I'm going to do it is I've got my Profoto B2 system set up back here. This is actually in my, in my group C, usually my background line I'm putting in group C. And I'm just going to do it the way that you might think you'd do it to start with, which is just point them at the wall. I'm going to turn off the front light just to get this back light going. We'll test it. Right? It's probably going to be you know, a silhouette. Not quite white, right? Because the way TTL works, Right, is that it's gonna be like trying to get a neutral, right? A neutral gray, 18%, whatever. So it's a white wall, so it's gonna underexpose it. So I need to tell it, hey, no, man. Hey, TTL, give me a little more juice. Um, you can give it two, two stops here in the controller, which I do not think is gonna be enough, but let's just do a quick shot and see. Oops. Yeah, still doesn't barely change it at all. And, am I cropping it here on purpose? 100% I am. No, I didn't notice that her head was cropped. It's a good thing somebody was paying attention to see that. All right, so C. I'm going to turn. You do have a good forehead. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Mm, still a smidge dark. A um, couple things are going on here, guys, um, which we'll talk about. This light is now maxed out, I believe. Yep. Okay. So, again, this is just the background light, right? It's not quite white, but it's more or less there. So I'm at F11. Um, I'm just gonna drop my exposure on my camera because that kit back there isn't giving me enough light. There we go. Okay. So 255 is white, right? So I'm going to circle around here and make sure I'm 255. And I am. But do you see what's happening? She's lit from that. And that is a sign of not having control of my light, right? I don't want to light it like that because if I do, then I'm, all this light's coming forward. Even though I'm lighting her, I'm going to get fill. I'm not going to be able to control it the way I want. Especially if you want that more kind of contrasty beauty stuff that's kind of popular with the dark shadows. 
I can't do that here, right? Because my shadows are going to be filled in. If I just turn my A light on now, and I take a shot, it's going to be flattened out a bit, right? In fact, overexposed because I'm adding all this extra light to it. And now I've just got this kind of flat, open shot, which if the, what you're going for is that, then you're good, right? But that's not what we want. We want more control. I want to have shadow. I want to be able to do stuff. So I need to control this light back here. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use V-flats. So these are a whole pile of them over here. These are from, oh, this is a brand new one. Uh, this is from V-flat world. Here's a brand new one. I'm going to dirty it right here for the first time ever on the set. I know, it's crazy. Well, I'm opening it the wrong way. Uh oh, well, I didn't watch the video, the proper video, how to open it. No. I'm doing it wrong, apparently. What's going to happen? It's going to fall apart. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. It flexes this way. There we go. I got it. Okay, good. I've never, I've never had the privilege to use a brand new one before. Okay, so I'm going to take this V flat and I'm going to move them. Now, you might think, right? Because I know what you're thinking. You're like, Daniel, you're going to put the V-flat right here, right? No, I'm not going to put it right there. Why would I put it way back here? I want the light to not hit my subject, so I'm going to put it up near my subject, right? I don't care about all the light bouncing around. In fact, having it up here is going to give me that more space to work. I don't need to put it right next to my light. If I was going to bounce the light into the V-flat, I'd put it closer to the wall for, for power control. But for this, I'm just going to put it right there. That's all I have to need. So I have another one. This one apparently has been used before. We've got a whole bunch of these. So if you guys don't know, uh, V-flats are like super common in studios, and these are like the portable ones. Um, if you have, a, like we have over there, a whole bunch of full-size ones, normally they're, you know, like eight foot. I'm still not doing it right. I think he's gonna I'm going to actually do it on the other side too, so I don't cause a dilemma. We don't want a dilemma. Right? Yeah. You're not, you're not doing photography correctly if you don't run out of space really quickly. Right? No matter how big your space is, you're always going to run out of space right away. Okay. There we go. I only need to leave enough space here that it's not going to be in my shot with the camera. So before I get too settled in here, I'm going to do my camera. Oh, you're right. Is that so good? <laughs> All right, good. So I can do it this way. So there's a lot of things I can do here. I, I am in a white studio. Uh, so light's bouncing around everywhere in here, guys. It definitely makes a difference. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just adjusting these lights a little bit to get them the, the hot spot of them more directly behind her head because that matters. Um, yeah, if you were in like a big, I don't know, a black studio or something, you wouldn't have as much light bouncing around. It would still come forward though. This is still a good way to, to kind of handle this spill. And we should be able to get most of it knocked down by doing this. So let's, let's kill that A light again. We'll just see what happens. That should help us a bit. Right, should knock it down. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit darker now in the front. I want to cut as much of this as possible. Ideally, it, you'd completely encase her, but we're not going to do that. We don't have the insurance for that. I'm getting a little bit of the V flat in now. Yes, yeah, a little bit coming forward. Come this way. So I'm just going to tweak these. I'm actually going to do this too. I'm going to bounce into the V-flat. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it now. Um, they can see just that one stand. So. Oh, perfect. Uh, I'm just going to bounce into this V-flat just to see how that gives, gives me spread-wise. Because what I think I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to let some of it bleed past the V-flat and give her like a little bit of a separation as well. We're going to try to multitask our light here. Why not, right? Multitasking is key. Okay, good. Here we go. Focusing, good. Yeah. I guess I got it in the shot now, but we can see, you see I'm giving her a little bit of rim over here. Because might as well, right? 
that's good. Kick this one back a bit. Good, good, good. Here we go. Now we're out of the shot. Nice like that. There we go. Good. Cool, cool, cool. Still getting a decent amount of light popping back. I think I might actually try to block more of it with the flag. Let's see if we can. What's actually happening, we had this problem when Joe was in here, is uh, the light's actually going all the way to the ceiling, too. So, let me take this C stand. And I don't know if I'm off camera here. I probably am. People are probably like, where is, did Daniel go? Hold that for me now. Thank you. Uh, of course the C stand is buried when I need it. It's important to bury all of your C stands before you start. That way you have to dig them out as you go. Bust this guy out. I'm gonna go like this. So everybody hopes that, you know, to have a white studio, like that's like the dream. They're like, oh, to have a white studio. <laughs> and then once they work in a white studio, they realize that you spend 90% of your time blocking the light so it doesn't bounce around everywhere. Yeah, well, that's true. For just natural light, it's fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. And we're gonna go like this with my flag. Building a flag, thank you. No, I would never paint the studio black. I'm not a big Rolling Stones fan. Uh, would the grid help control the spill? The grid would not help control the spill because what's spilling is the light from the back. So, no. We're just trying to block as much as possible. It's, it's never going to be perfect. Also, some of the light from the back is hitting the silver card, so we may have to replace the silver card as our means of, of working, too. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely getting more contrast. We can see the difference. Each time we're getting a little darker, right? It's never going to go, in this studio, it's never going to go completely dark, especially because the V-flats are not reaching the ceiling, which would be crazy tall V-flats if you had them that could do that. So I'm going to kill this for a second. I just want to see how much that's doing. Let me just kill this. Cool, cool, cool. Just that. Yeah, I killed it a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I care or not about that. All right, I'm going to throw the A-light back on. Let's work from there. Okay. So actually, I'm gonna kill C for a second. A, because remember when I was adjusting the C lights, I also uh, went to F9 and I was at F11 before, so I need to make sure I reset my A light, because it was at F11 before. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go, that's interesting. Well, you know, that the reason why that's happening is because now the front light's the only light going off, so it is uh, it being blocked now by the, the flags. Good. All right, that's a good exposure. Now I'm going to go back to manual, turn C back on. Let's see what we get there. I think with all this light bouncing around, I'm not going to need the fill card. I think it's just going to fill itself. Yeah, there we go. That worked. That was the compromise, right? You could sit there struggling all day to try to get rid of all that light, but by removing this, right? Now I've already used this once, so I can still charge for it. I could even leave the table there to make it look like I'm doing something. Or I could put a black card yeah, there. Even. Black card. Yeah, let me put the black card there. You do a black uh, bag. Well, I, I could actually use a black, uh, the bag. Like Seth suggests is a good idea. Right? Use whatever you got, guys. So I get this bag here. You know, V-flat world, when they make these things, they're like, oh, yeah, this is you know, really good as a V-flat. And then they, didn't, they don't think, hey, you know what's also cool? This bag. Yeah. You can also, when you're doing laundry and stuff, you can put it in this bag. It's a great laundry bag. It is a great laundry bag. Or you buy art or something, like go to Comic-Con and get some art. Are you kidding that people with it? Yeah, of course so. I don't know about that. Yeah. Not unless they're flat people. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, that was nice. Good idea, Seth. Okay, so let's make some quick adjustments to our exposure here. That definitely added contrast there, so we're going to keep your face bloop, bloop. Uh, I'm going to bring my A-light down a smidge. Now that, I'm, now that things start to come together, I want to get my exposure tighter. Good. Boom. 
Oh yeah, look at you. Look at you on fire. I think something moved though, you're not centered anymore. Uh, this isn't centered. Yes, this way. I think I may have bumped it with the V-flat. Right there. Yeah. That's why I don't use rolling stents. What's a, uh-oh. Just look at the phone and stuff. Look at my phone, good. I just want you to, I want you to see how I'm... What, how crazy the thing was? It's like... This, this is the way we do it here. I look scared there, how great. Yeah, but look though, look at that. That's okay, good. Yeah, that is nice, you look super scared. I even like that you're getting that little hairline. I'm not sure, I, I'm, I'm debating if I like the hairline or not. We're, I'm leaving it though for now. We're definitely reaching that point where it's starting to look a little crazy in here. So to make it even more crazy, I'm going to add more V-flats. So if you're not sure what to do, like if you're like, oh man, I don't know what to do because I got that too fast and now I have to do another half an hour of a live stream. You can start setting up more stuff. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in two more V-flats. Am I just building a giant house of cards? Maybe. Are you going to forget me with this? No, I would never forget you. Nobody ever forgets Shireen. Nobody will ever. Shireen played Starbuck in our, our first live uh, video scene that we did. Right, Dave? That was 2004. Yeah, it was a long time ago. All this for her face. By the way, you can also just go outside and shoot this natural light. I mean, really, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is a beauty preset that you can buy. Okay. This is the time we ask the talent if they might have to, you know, use the restroom or anything. Uh, I'm shooting slightly downward because I know I want to keep the light even on the front of her face, it means, meaning that her chin has to be up, and because the shot I want to make of her is not with her chin up, I, I'm higher. Yeah, we can do it the other way too, though, I'll show you. I'm shooting it more of like a beauty portrait style. If you're shooting more like a, we'll, we'll switch over in a second and I'll show you what difference that makes. So these V-flats are going to kick light in from the side. Ah, of course that flag back there. Crew ready to yes, of course, they're gonna have to crawl in. You wanna make it as difficult as possible for the makeup people. Uh, and for the talent. And for the talent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the phone is like, what is happening here? Why don't you use the black side to kill the bounce light instead of having it face the other way? No, well, not right now I don't care. Right now I'm bouncing light back in to fill for the sides of her face. You could do that as well, though. Yeah, so the question is about, I could use them as negative fill. We can try both. I think what I want to do is fill it in and get rid of the shadows. Oh, uh, yeah, you could do that as well. That's not a bad idea. You could put the, the, uh, the black towards there. I knew I wanted to bounce into them to make it a little more even. That's why I did it that way. I was planning ahead of what I knew I wanted to do. Um, if I was going to just point the light to the wall, that you could also do that. That also works. There's so many solutions to every problem. Do, 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 do. So this is the fourth one, and I, I still can't open it the right way. The right. So, so clearly Seth was right about that. I'm gonna knock that camera over. <laughs> no, 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 we got it. I got it. I got it. I mean, we're working in a tiny space with like four cameras floating around everywhere. Thanks, Dave. So uh, I'm gonna do a demo in single light after this. <laughs> I mean, I'm only really using one light. This could be a single light shot. Yeah. Uh, it could be. Um, if you want a black background, sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to kill this for a second. Hold on. I got ahead of myself on one part of it without... Okay, there we go. We got it. You feel cozy? I feel really cozy. <laughs> you can now survive like a bomb, it's a bomb shelter. Really. I'm really yeah. impressed. We're putting a lot of stuff up here to give you some reflection. This is all for me. I mean, I could just use cards too, but I decided I would use this because... Why, why make it easy? Well, I should have done with set this up first, but... Yes. Well, no, I just... Who buys just one v That's right. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, 
I'm going to forget about that flag for right the second. I want to get this set up first. Because now I want more light bouncing around, so I'm killing that flag. We're actually kind of going the opposite direction here. Thanks, Seth. And Dave for saving my life. What do these flats cost? Priceless. I don't know what they cost. Do you know how much they are, Seth? Well, these, I think, a couple hundred bucks. 16175 Per? But yeah. they're special. I mean, they're, probably, they're all handmade. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Well, I mean, all V-flats are handmade. Usually you make them yourself. So if you make them yourself... Prices. Yeah, you can either get giant pieces of cardboard and make them yourself, uh, or, you know, but then they're not portable. I think that's really, to me, that's the key to this, um, is that these become portable. All right, we're getting more. I'm excited to see what that camera looks like. I'm actually trying to make that iPhone just look nuts. It's like a hedge maze. <laughs> All right, let's just see what happens here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so looking at this is a couple things I want to change. After all that. Now that I'm bouncing this light back in to kind of bring it, bring up the lens side of her face, I don't like this bouncing back. <laughs> I'm turning, I'm in the back here, I'm turning. Marco! <laughs> I'm turning the, uh, the lights in the back so that they're not, not gonna hit her anymore. Let me turn the model light on so they can see. Can they see Sharina at all or no? Uh, Sharina is covered by the blue dish. They're looking at, it's over here. I mean, they're doing the phone. Okay. It's the only thing I can get that covers this whole thing. No, that's good. Like uh, listen, uh, this is my opportunity to be ridiculous. You know, it's like we never get to do this in the store. Like all right. Okay, so I just, I, I just turned this, oh. I just turned those lights so that they're not going to give her that kicker in the hair anymore. That's it, straighten your face <laughs> That's right. Ooh, yeah, wow. there we go. See, now that, that you get that, that wrap around with the white. I almost wondered, though, if the, uh, if the black wouldn't have been. I'm not sure. But... Cool. Now you can really make the background any color you want without it spoiling. Exactly. So basically, this is like a control. We could make the background. We could throw gels and stuff, but we're not going to do it, though. Maybe we will. Who knows? I'm going to kill the background for one second again. Because I might actually like this. This uh... right. It's always good to make sure you see what everything's like doing. You like that one? It's a little bit. Uh, you don't want the other one. A little moodier. No. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to change a couple things here. Number one, I'm coming lower. There we go. Work your chin up a little bit towards the dish. Good. I like that. Uh, again, I'm just using the beauty dish for right now, guys. I just want to try something. Okay, yeah. So this is a little more traditional with the beauty with the chin up. I'm going to bring my C light back in. Let's see what that looks like. Get all beauty-ish. You got to give direction like that. That's important. Beauty-ish. There's the white. I'm not sure if I love how much white's coming forward. I may... That's that. That's there. You know what I do? I'm gonna come back around here with this one. We got a lot of white kicking back from this this one. So I'm actually gonna come here. I'm hiding over here. Well, I mean, hopefully they saw me leave. It's like the the white background on the house back there. I'm switching these up again this way, guys, because I feel like the bouncing is not looking the way I wanted it to. It's cool just to kind of work through the different. Uh, yeah, if, it, if you can. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I could turn them, yeah, I could turn on modeling lights on. Now people can see where the lights are. I think that might be confusing. What are you going to do? Yeah. The well, I'm just going to turn them all on. There we go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. With the, there's that one. There we go. Yeah, now we got more control where we want it to be. She's looking meaner. She's like, what's going on here? So that's all the white fill. I kind of, you know, after we bring all that white in, I'm kind of thinking I like the, the more contrast better. And that's what happens sometimes, right? Dave's like, yeah, he, Dave knew I was going to like the, the, the more contrast better, but he let me do it anyways, because that's, that's how he is. All right, so easy enough. 
Bring this this way. See, the second time I'm faster at it. See how I did that? Yeah. Right. I can't even believe it. Right? That first time was to make it look more difficult, so when I did it the second time, it'd be impressive. I may have spoke too soon, though. Okay. So faster. Yeah, these are definitely faster. It's just the initial setup, but it always takes longer. Okay, so. Good. I'm going to go black. I think I want that contrast. Yeah, that looks better already. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Now I got to adjust my exposure because exposure is always relevant, relative. Okay, let's see. I am in manual, by the way, guys, not TTL anymore. Focusing. Yeah, and we're just adding that, all that black now so we can see that makes a different shot. Yeah, like you're getting that, like, now let's less, like, less. Less more straight up? No, uh, straight with the face, but more turned with the body. Yeah, we don't want to, yeah, because the way I'm cropping it, it's all about cropping here, guys. If, if her shoulders are facing the camera and we end the frame here, it just, you don't know where she ends, so that, you know, by turning her this way, it just adds a little bit of, and also do this a little bit. Like push her shoulder forward. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And bring your face to the center a bit. Chin up a smidge right there. Hold. All right, and then we can get nice, clean, dark, powerful. And we have a white background, right? Nice and simple. That works pretty well. And we can actually get uh, even tighter. Now that we didn't, right, because I wanted to bounce light around, that's why I wasn't using the grid at first. But if we want to get tighter with our light, I can throw this grid on. It's going to add more contrast even more. We're going dark on this. I thought I was going to do like light, airy beauty stuff. And somehow we ended up going dark. What do you mean dark? Just like moodier, like more powerful. Yeah, you got to contrast. Yeah. We're going to crank the contrast here. Yeah, it might be. Maybe if I use that cadence black and white. Uh... If only I was selling it. You should. If you can buy Seth's preset. It's not a preset. <laughs> well, it's, it's a preset for me because I just used the one that you said. <laughs> it wasn't a preset when you did. The only one in the world that I've given a color grade to. Yes, that's right. All right. This may be too shadowy. Yeah, okay. So now, right, by adding the grid and getting closer, now we got too much shadow in the eyes. So we got to figure out, we can either bring the reflector back in or I move this more forward. And you got to match your chin, your, your eye level to that. I'm going to switch... Back to TTL for a second. Kill the background light for a second. Chin up. Your chin has to almost match the angle of the beauty dish. There we go. You can look at me with your eyes, though. You can be like, what's going on? Good. There we go. See, now, now we get almost a black background because that's a bit harsh, though. I think I'm going to stay with C on head. I'm going to bring this up and forward. I want the contrast, but I want to control the contrast. So I gotta put it the light where I need it. Which the... It's not central to me right now. It's not, is it? No. I think you wondering. I am wondering. Let's see. Where is the center? There. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Half grid. Half grid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the light is, is still getting. Oh. Oh, okay. That's what happens when you switch to TTL with both lights on in the middle. If you want to see that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go just the front light, TTL, like that. Okay. That is moody.com, but I think the light's actually hitting her more in the chest than in the face. Chest light. Yep, let's do that. Remember, the grid's going to narrow the beam, right? So when we're moving it around, yeah, there we go. That looked better. There it is. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, switch to manual. See, see that back light, background like this. Crank that bad boy back up. Okay. Oh, really? That seems very advanced. <laughs> I 
Okay, sorry. Had to. All right, so be all moody for a second. Like chin up like you're a snob. There we go. <laughs> is this called low key? Uh, this is not called low key. <laughs> Loki was the what brother of Thor? Thor's brother. Oh. Oh, I feel like I'm. Re oh, there's no camera over there. Nobody saw how awesome I did that. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go white here. I'm trying to fill in a little bit. Chin up a smidge. There. Oops. I think I missed that one. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Right. Let's get you prepared. Chin up. Up, 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 up. Good. Yeah, that's better. So that's with the white. Hmm. Yeah. So. Thank you. No, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Got to put, put it to work. It's a lot of work. Okay. Snob. Good. Silver kick. Hmm. Hmm. I actually like none. I think uh, nothing. I think Can I like the shadows. Collarbone? Yeah. I broke my collarbone when I was a kid. It was very painful. Yeah. I fell out of bed. They can't do anything for you. Yeah. They would just like suck it up. And I was like, all right. Does it feel weird now that you're just floating out there yeah, with nothing in front of you, or you need something, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, good, good, good. Posture. I'm just trying to see if the, yeah, I definitely like the shadows better. I like me some shadow. I almost want to drop it more. Let me get a little closer to you. You're gonna have to have a chin up higher though when I do this. Even higher? Yeah, the closer, the, yeah, I'm gonna go lower. The, the closer I am to her, the higher up her chin has to be because otherwise, because <laughs> the light's getting closer, her chin, the like, yeah. Actually, can you kill the overhead so that we can, maybe they can see it better? I don't know if they can see it or not. Oh, nice. oh sorry. Uh, yeah, so bring your chin up. You can, I don't know if they can see that or not, but if you, if you, if you move your chin up and down, it changes the shadow pattern. Somewhat. All right, well, that's, per that's perfect. Yeah, and then we have nice, even light across our face like that, right? Okay, good. Go straight on, though. Straight on like a baller. I also feel like I'm very far away. Let me get closer. Project your chin forward like a chicken. This is the 100 millimeter f2.8 macro. 105 millimeter 2.8 macro from Nikon. Yeah, there we go. We wanted it. Yeah. You know, hey. Yeah. Hey guys, if we're live, let us know while I shoot this. Chin, chin, chin up, 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 up. I know you want to have it down, but you can't. <laughs> When you drop your chin down. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's not terrible. It still looks good. It gives me a, a you look good. Right? What's that? It gives me a jawline. You do have a jawline. Yeah. I don't know what they miss, but they work well. All right, guys, you were buffering, but now we're back. Okay, so basically, you know, we went, we're going back and forth, and like somebody made the comment, oh, all this for little changes for little, but that's it. That's what beauty is about. We're adjusting and manipulating what we want to get. So when the light was closer to her and it was more open, I didn't really like the reflector. I thought it just filled in the shadow too much. It just made this like darker area at the bottom of her. I'd rather have shadow if I'm going to have shadow. This one where the shadow is much more stark, I want that fill. So I think it actually works a lot better. So each, each uh, setup is going to have its own. Uh, why use a macro lens? Why use a macro lens? Because this is the one that Seth gave me. No, the macro lens is extra sharp. Because you have to consider when you're doing beauty that sometimes you're going to want to, uh, can I pick a different, hold on, I just want to adjust something, I'm going to switch my, my something, yeah, uh, let me just quickly change something on the camera, a little quick camera setup, oh there we go, that's perfect, yeah, go just straight, straight on me with, with, with the face, and push out like with, with the face, with the face. With the face. Oh, I had to get the eyebrow, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's it, right? That's it, right there. That's cool. Yeah. When she pushes forward, right, that actually also changes the shape of the shadow under this. Let's let's do that, but I'll give you a little fill. Did you get it? Okay. Okay. Push forward. Chicken. 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 Good. 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 One more. Good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where we got power and we got Phil, you know, and uh, we got John and Bob and, as well. Okay. The good thing about a macro for yeah. is you don't have to worry about minimum posting distance either. Yeah, that's what I started saying. I'm sorry. Yeah, so the reason why we're using a macro, I mean, I am not a huge fan of a macro for portraits because I think they're too sharp. I know that Seth feels differently, but beauty, I love it because not only do we want the sharpness, also we don't have to worry about when the makeup artist goes, oh man, get in the get, get the eyeball. You know, I can do that. This is like a, probably a one-to-one -one or something. I can get right in there and bang it out. Because they always want that eyeball shot. They never use it, but they always make you take it. What's the eyeball shot? Just a really close shot of the eyebrow. It, it, with no context, it just looks weird. Oh. The obvious eyeball. Yeah. That's it. Straighten and then give him, straighten and push the chin forward like a chicken and give me that little like eyebrow. There we go. That's it. Yeah. You know, again, we want that shape, right? Beauty is, you want, well, that's, that might be the most perfect butterfly light ever. Look at how butterfly that is. It's perfectly centered, which is good for me. It's hard for me to get things centered. Come on, give me some credit here. I can't always get things centered. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, so we got, you know, again, we can use shadow. We can use shape. Um, oh, interesting. Oh, you know what it is? Because I'm on, that's why. Yeah, I'll leave it where it was. Well, that's, that's the proper white balance. I had it on the cold white balance that you, I'll put it on sunny to make a compromise. There we go. Seth uses 5,000. Yeah. So that's what I had it on before. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I think it, it just looks too cool. We'll leave it there. That looks better to me. Cool. I, I wish probably do a custom white balance, but we learned last time that my white balance thing was all. Actually, you know what I have? Extra bonus, guys. People always want to know what's in this thing. Nothing I can ever find. I can tell you that right now. Where's my X-ray chart? Well, it's supposed to be an X-ray chart in here. Did Brett take it? Sorry. All right, we'll use this one instead. Is this that same one? No, this one's better. Custom. You look at the chipboard. Yeah, the chipboard. Hold that in front of your grill, please. Yeah, all right, so we got that in front of her grill. I'm gonna do a custom white balance. There we go. And let's see. And that should give us the right white balance. You see, now because I've been shooting at your white balance, that looks super warm, even though it is, in theory, correct. You're just extra warm looking, Sharina. I don't know. You got some warmth in you. She's from Miami. Miami. She's from Miami. Let's do like the super snobby like uh, beauty thing where like your chin's up like this like. Yeah, exactly. But really project it out low like a chicken. Yeah, so chin up. Yes, exactly. We'll try that. Am I looking at the camera? No, no. You're too good for me. Look here with your eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> right, so we can do that too, looking up. See, when we do this, right, there's no shadow, really, I mean, there's a little in there. And that's because the light is flat to her nose, right? When we do this, eh, if I can get my mouse to work, and then we have that butterfly. So it really depends on the flavor you want to go for. What flavor do you like? Let's do that one more time with the reflector, because we charge extra for that. Yeah, same thing with the whole chin up and everything, like all here with your eyes, like, oh. Actually, right here. Good. Nice. Yeah. Filled in. Eh, not as nice. That's good if you're doing neck stuff, I guess. Neck so, fish. whatever you like. And then, of course, like I said, if you want to be, if we want the same kind of thing, like look up at the light again, but we want it to be more portraity, then I want to get higher with my camera. That way I'm not looking up at her. Because it was that question earlier. Right now, I can get that same kind of light on her, more or less. So you know, somewhere in the middle, actually. But now I'm higher, so I don't get that. That's uh, my presidential portrait. Yeah, that's we already did you as a president, which was pretty awesome. Yeah. That was a super fun shoot. You guys can see that on Adorama TV. All right, cool. Any questions? Oh, sorry. Be happy. Okay, all right, that's terrible light for happy, but it's okay. <laughs> I look moody there. Yeah, it's moody. It's moody happy light. Look happy. Yeah, if we want to do happy, we have to change it. 
you know, we can just, we can, the other thing we can do is we can make the light flatter. That usually looks good on my round face. Yes. It does. Uh, we could do with the soft lighter, but I don't have one. Uh, if you got it. I could definitely do a softer light, or I could just bounce in the V-flats. Oh, well, we could, do a, we could bounce into a card that's gripped, yep. or we could do a soft lighter. Yeah, I was going to do the V-flats, but I'll do a soft lighter if you got it, because people love to buy stuff. <laughs> First, we're going to mess with angle. I got one. Okay, cool. First thing I'm doing, though, is I'm lowering the, cam the light to be... Uh, on level with her, just to show you guys, like if you're looking straight at me, that chin forward push again. There you go, hold on, let me go back to TTL. Maybe I want to do a lip gloss break. You want to put lip gloss on? Yes. All right, hold on, let's do this first. This might actually be a good lip gloss. Push forward, like powerful. Chin up, right there. Right? Ooh, Not bad, right? You like that. Now, let me put C back on. That Not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad. See, see, same thing, chin, 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 push, push, here we go, boom. Oh. Okay, then it keeps leaving on. Remember that if you have a white background, or you're blowing the background out rather than you, with lights and doing TTL like that, you have to be wary of that. So this is like a bit of a flatter light if you want that more like filled in. I should also actually focus, hold on. Good, good, good. There we go. So if you like that, that's flatter. Not so much my style, but some people like that. All right, let's do, uh, we got a soft lighter? We're gonna switch to a, uh, a bigger light source. Go ahead, put lip gloss on. So, so we can just use it as an umbrella even. So if we switch to an umbrella, which is. You want a socket? Yeah, well, we can start with just, well, I guess you can't do that, right? Cause then you gotta take it back off again if you don't put the sock on. Well, just let, let it dangle. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna switch to uh, Fotex soft lighter. Which is, you know, an umbrella. Find umbrellas are pretty popular for beauty. Um, because they are diffused by their nature, you know, they're bouncing. Even if you were to use a, a shoot through umbrella, obviously that's diffused, but if you use a regular umbrella, it's still diffuse because it's bouncing and spreading. So we can see, what, yeah. It's really all about the shape and the face. Everybody's face is going to be a little bit different, guys. What? So it all kind of comes down to what you want to do. Okay, so. Yeah, you did you hear the plus? What happened? It, 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 it just, it's two rods that screws together, so it's oh, yeah. completely out. It was completely out. Yes, it is two rods that screw together. Is that to go in there? Oh, there you go. There it is. So we're putting up the umbrella. So that's doing it, thank you. <laughs> um, this is a 60? Yeah. 60 inch umbrella. We don't play around. Oh. Well, we can do it this way and then put yeah. the sock on. We gotta put the sock on. So the sock, basically what happens is the light comes into the umbrella. It's going to, uh, can we do that? Right? Uh, Hold on, we gotta make sure we have opposites. So this one goes here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Light's gonna go, go into the back of the umbrella, bounce and spread out and be diffused. Then it's gonna go through the diffusion in the front. So it's double diffuse. Double diffuse is double the diffusion. Double the diffusion, double the fun. You want to do, like no, that's good. 45 is good. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's gonna slip a little. Yeah, it does that. Stay, okay. So big light now, right? Oh. Big light is very forgiving. Big light is soft. So we were constantly worried with the beauty dish, right? Worried. Where I was like, make sure we're in the center or whatever. This one, we have a lot more leeway to not have to worry about that. We'll leave everything else up the way it is, though. I am going to kill the background light again. I'm going to put it back in TTL. 
So we can get our exposure. And let's see what we got. Ah, yeah, nice. Soft. Okay, that is soft. Now it's a bit on the dark side for me. It's so painterly like. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to go back to manual. I'm going to give it another half a stop. Let's see that, because I like my stuff to be bright. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got the soft light going on. And let's throw the background back on. Cool. That might actually bounce off the umbrella. Yep. And we're going to get all kinds of bouncy bounce. There we go. Gives a different flavor. Now, I still have the black cards on the side, which are adding a little contrast. I lost one of your cameras. Uh-oh. Which one? That one? Yeah, that camera always goes out. Got to get a battery. It looks it, like, uh, that's like our shot clock. That's how we know yeah, exactly. We know we're running when the... It's so. Oh, is it? Okay. All right, guys. We're going to finish up with this one. Let's get a good shot with a soft lighter. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that battery. That battery's hot. Okay, good shot with the soft lighter. We can do this, right? Just like they do on TV. Yeah. Okay. Just pulling this back a little bit so I don't get as much uh, darkness. Okay. Yep, there we go. Good. He's like, I just had my chin there. Yeah, I was like, who's in that exact yeah. Soft. I think we're too close. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You me laugh. That's how you got Sharina half laugh. That's a half laugh. You want it really flat now, throw a bounce on it? It is flat as it can be. Let's see. So that's pretty flat. But if we really want to flatten it out. Ultra flat. It's so flat. It's so flat. So flat. Uh, all right, let's do it. We're going to go the flattest light ever. Am I holding? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm like eight miles away, so I can't hold it. I'm practically out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes, it's like totally That is flat. Yep. Whew. That might be the flattest you've ever been. I double snapped. Double snapped on that one. Oh, there you go. Good. No, I'm not. Yeah, oh, that's. Yeah, there you go. That's soft lighter. So, you know, soft lighter is going to create. Hold on, hold on. Soft light. Oh, what the hell? It's hey. crazy. I know. Hey, what are you going to do? You want to make it harder. No, I'm going to bring a second light in. Okay. No? Oh, you want to do that? Focus that. Oh, it doesn't really focus. All right, all right, all right. So that's, gonna, so that's getting advanced on you guys here. Do it. do it. Do it. Or we can just lose it. All right, so we're going to do the old collapse collapse technique. This is the old collapsed umbrella technique. Do you want a socket? Yeah, let's leave the sock on there. All right. So, um, this is like the sad umbrella we call this one. <laughs> it's like nobody likes me. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> you look like a magician. This is like the <laughs> well, I had to get that out. Okay, good. All right, so we got the collapsed umbrella. We're doing the move. It's like a sad sack. Oh, you're gonna move. You're gonna move. Oh, god. All right, hold on. I gotta pre-focus then. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I guess that's collapsing. Up. Where are you moving to? I'm just going. Okay. So hold on. Let me let me pre-focus. So look at me first. All right. Then go. Okay. Yep. We needed to do it. Had to happen. Had to happen. <laughs> it's like, oh look, my hair is blowing. I look so much like my hair. And look at how beautiful that is. All right. One more time. Unlike Cliff, I won't make you do it 50 times. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yes. Oh, yep, I'm ready. Yep. I mean, I don't, I don't need to do it that many times. I nail it every time. <laughs> I nail it every time. Every time. <laughs> Except for when I don't. <laughs> you adapted the darkness. I was raised in it. 
<laughs> that's that's smirk. Exactly. That, that's the, that's the smirk. That is the smirk. That's very like Mr. Mrs. Smith poster. Yeah, exactly. We got it, Mr. Smith. Good. Shereen sees every opportunity to get a, to get a, a headshot. She's always like, "Hold on." Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hold on. What's this thing about? I, oh, a uh, headshot. You mean, right? Okay. Yes, you can see that video. Uh, that's video 220. I, know. <laughs> I literally did that. Yes. That yeah. No, I literally did that video. If you go onto my onset playlist, you'll see it. Your I forget who it was. I think it was um, Ashley, possibly, with the red hair. Tell me your name again. <laughs> okay, so I think this, this is good. This is now, right? Now we've developed kind of more into like a beauty portrait. We're using the same kind of thought process you might use for a beauty shot, kind of the overhead butterfly the fill, but we're doing really soft light, so basically you can get nice, clean, fun shots. Really easy. I feel like we should just press out the Magnum for one shot. Yes. We got five minutes? Ooh, five minutes, we'll give you the Magnum, guys, just because you asked for What's it. The magnum, well, you know. We, I think we'd use the, we used the Magnum last week, but uh, Notice that the magnet reflector also has a dent. <laughs> Signature of all Daniel's lights. Well, how That's how you distinguish yeah. them. You know you're, they're your lights when they have dents. Do right. I need this reflector? For you this? can hold on to it just for it to make yourself feel better. Okay. <laughs> the disrespect. It's like when, you know, with kids, you gotta like, you know, give them something to spend their time. <laughs> this is like a model's teething ring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's do like a like a, a profile-ish. What do you want to be? Let's profile you a little bit. It would be the left. Yeah, so let's do it. You told me that was the yeah. best side of my face for you. I did. I probably said that. <laughs> Somebody actually listens to me. Well, you say it in a very scary way, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sexual fear. Insecurity. Fear. <laughs> I, I, make, I, make, I make people feel insecure. Uh, no, I'm not. You, no, you can. Yeah, you can hold it. Why not? What is it going to ruin anything? Maybe. <laughs> it's, we're not really sure. Uh oh, shutter release disabled. Recharge battery. Wow. What was the purpose behind collapsing the umbrella? The purpose behind collapsing the umbrella was to make it smaller. Making it smaller makes it a little bit less soft, but not really, but mostly just changes the spread. Did you back up a lot? Yeah, you did. Me? I backed up a lot, yes. I'm out of frame. Of course I am. We're almost out of time. We're out of frame. We're out of time. And I lost connection to the computer when I shot the best shot probably of my entire life. <laughs> did I still? And you did it twice. Did, she did the same exact perfect pose twice, and I still. Where is it? Try it. Sometimes it recruits back. It's. Hey, try turning off and on again. Well, sometimes it like, it's like it's stored and it's like okay. somebody comes through. Anyway. I did it three times now. There it is. Yeah, you did do it three times. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Chin up a smidge. I'm going to get closer. Also, the... Uh, I'm back to manual. Give myself some juice. Yeah, you never want to get the whole top of somebody's head. You definitely don't want that. Yeah, let's do that. I want it to be more sideways. You're over there. So I'm going to go here. Good. Oh, that's weird. Oh, no wonder why. There it is. I was like, I can't see the model light. Now I can. That's a pretty chin up smidge right there. That should be better. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no. No. That's the wrong tool. There it is. Oh, yes. Okay, good. So do this. Perfect. Oh. Good, 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 good. Focusing. Good. Blinked. You did blink. Ah, good. See, that's bringing back the side of her face a little bit. Yeah, it's good because your eyes are down. You can actually bring your chin up more and be like more like looking through. Yeah, low. Look low like a snub. Good. Actually, bring your chin up even more. Yeah, you, you can do it. 
I know, I know. Now, now though, you are bringing the reflector too much into the shot. Yeah, there we go. Calm it down to reflector. All right. We get All right, you think, all right. That's it. Chin up a smidge. Breathe. Good. Right there. Oh yeah. Hold on. I think I want a little more juice. One more shot. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah. See the be the the magnum is crisp. You're gonna get nice crisp shadows, nice detail, and we have a little bit of fill coming in from there. Look at that jawline. Let me get the top of your head, because you know people really feel like you don't have the top of your head if I don't get it. Yeah, they can't stand when we cut that top. Yeah. Like... Yep. I'm gonna get it. Chin up a smidge more. A little more. Right there. Good. Uh, reflectors in. Good. There we go. Top of the head for somebody who wants it. Yeah. That's a lot of top of the head. Well, that's a magazine cover. Come we got to. Come on, There's so much top of the head. Frame there. it up, Norton. Let's go. Oh, right there. Look, perfect. No, no, that's it. Yeah, give that look at Seth. See, that's the look that models give uh, give Seth when you, they try to give me shit. So you don't give me shit because that's what models do. Don't give don't give me a hard time. I didn't swear. I didn't swear. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Your reflectors in the shot though. I invented the live stream, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did invent the live stream. Yeah, sure you did. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm, no. Face this way. Finish strong. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Good, good, good. Reflectors in. I'm going to come up. Tilt. Good. Beautiful, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So that's good, just do this a tiny bit, like you. Now can you make the yeah. <laughs> right there, that's it. There we go. That's very modely. Yeah, there you go, it's very modely. Yeah. So I'll leave a tiny bit more space around. What's up? We're done. We got one more second. This is the final shot of the day. I'm feeling it. Good. This way with your face. And then up. Right there. There we go. Yeah, I did want to give her a little more space. Oh. oh. Although I, I like pushing the edge of the frame. I gotta admit, I am an edge frame person. And that's when she's giving that mean look to Seth, which I also like. Hmm. Yeah. One last shot, because photographers never, ever or tell the truth when they say it's the last shot. Perfect. Let's kill that for a second, okay. and let's go 100% profile. I always have to end on a profile, because I am a profile kind of guy. Can we kill the overheads for a second? Are you an Instagram profile kind of guy? I'm an Instagram profile guy. Yeah. Let's kill the overheads for some, some drama. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, love me some drama. Look at that profile. Wow. Up chimp smidge. Last one means last three. As we all know. There it is. Look at that nose. She has got that. Yep. She has that little whoop whoop. Yep. Okay, cool. So there's lots of fun stuff here. That's the Magnum, guys. So in the end, I mean, that's really the deal, right? We want to try to work with the, the subject to create these different kinds of beauty shots. And depending on what we're doing, right, the hard light, shaping the face, I kind of like the, uh, oh, that's the one that you kind of like that was almost like dead on. The grayish? No. Yeah, this one. It's a, it's a little dark, but yeah. The grayish? The grayish one. That's a good smile. We got, you know, we can get lots of different looks using basically the same, you know, or similar technique. We're just, we're using this light that, that's shaping the face and then filling in to create really a nice kind of landscape of the face, we'll say. The landscape of the face. The landscape of the Sharina. It's a lot of me. There is a lot of you. See, I filled every single one with you. I had to find that many that were good. It was easy. See how quickly I found that many good shots, Sharina? Because she's easy to shoot. Okay, so. If, <laughs> Sherry Allen, Daniel Norton, or Daniel Norton Photographer, if you're on YouTube. Thanks, Seth, Last Sex Witness. We are going to WPPI. I'll be in WPPI next week. So will Seth. You're teaching a platform class, a photo walk, a gazillion other things. Follow, so you put it on all your social media, it's the easiest way. Last X Witness, you can find him. I'll be there, I have a photo walk and also a master class the last day. is coming out, so uh, come to Vegas, we'll see us. Then we're gonna drive to California, so there should be some fun stuff coming up for that, guys. 
We'll be back in March with more of these, either here or somewhere else. We're not sure, but we will continue these going as long as people want to watch them. So thanks for watching. If there's any other questions, go ahead and put them in the comments or whatever, and I shall answer them. Bye-bye.